Oh, I want to start out with a, a joke. And uh, so a guy was talking with God. And he says, God, how long is a million years to you? And God thought and said, it's about a minute. And the man said, God, how much is a million dollars to you? And God thought and said, you know, a million dollars to me is about a penny. So the man asked, God, can I have a penny? And God said, hold on. <laughs> That's good. If you didn't get it, you could ask someone to explain all that. <laughs> all right, so the, the title of my speech is uh, How to Change the World uh, Through Community Work. And uh, so today I'm going to tell you how to change the world. Imagine the sun. Imagine that it's summertime and you are sitting outside relaxing on the beach with your toes in warm, soft sand. Your eyes are closed because you're drifting somewhere between sleeping and falling awake. You can feel the sun's rays beat down on your skin, and it feels really good. You take a deep breath, and you can smell the fresh air of the crystal clear lake. You open your eyes, and you can see the source of why you came out to the beach today. You look at the sun, and you wonder just how it can be that beautiful. Do you ever look up at the sun on a hot day and wonder, Gee, I wonder how much energy our sun produces. Well, I don't do that, and I'm sure you don't either. But in case you're wondering, the sun produces enough energy to power 2,880 trillion light bulbs every 60 minutes. That's enough energy to power 35,000 planets that each use the same amount of electricity as Earth. Hi, my name is Dick Plutnick, and I'm from Sox Center, Minnesota. A little bit of background on myself and my family is uh, I'm the oldest of six kids. And uh, yes, to answer your question, it is an adventure every single day. So uh, my dad is an insurance agent. Uh, he owns a small business. And my mom is a uh, elementary music teacher. Uh, my dad has taught me about business as long as I can remember. Uh, one of the earliest uh, lessons that he had ever taught me was that I should be looking for needs and trying to fill those needs. Some of you here today have a need, and I hope that uh, I can help point you in the right direction of filling that need. And for those of you that don't have this particular need, I hope that I have enough good information here and you know entertaining uh, material that you'll be able to reteach the same information to other people. Uh, everybody knows about solar panels, but not everybody really understands how they work. I'm here today to fill in those gaps so that you can make an informed decision if this is something that you should pursue. The reason I am here today is because I hope that at least one of you takes action and continues <coughs> looking into solar panels. But my journey in solar panels goes back to this last November, which I'll mention later. Today I will be talking about the top three benefits of solar panels. We will be going over how solar energy will help the environment, how affordable solar panels can be, and how they are the most reliable renewable resource. First, let's discuss how solar energy will help protect our environment. Who here just craves green toxic ooze coming out of their drinking closet? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Some people think that that's actually how pollution works, but the truth is that pollution is just a byproduct of living our everyday lives. If one household were to switch to using solar panels, that one difference would make more of a difference than a neighborhood recycling or a fleet of fuel efficient vehicles. The fact of the matter is, solar is the most green energy alternative because solar panels are used to produce electricity using the sun. Solar panels uh, use the resource of the sun by capturing light and turning it into usable electricity. The sun bathes the earth in light. It doesn't give off carbon dioxide emissions. It will never run out. And the last time I checked, it's still free. Eventually, our country will use more solar energy than any other resource. An untalked about side benefit that not everyone is willing to bring to attention is the effect that using electric <coughs> fuels will have on our nation's foreign policy. How many of you here, either you yourself have served or you know someone who has served in their nation's military? <coughs> awesome, awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you for the people who have uh, served our country. So. Uh, you'll be happy to know that when the U.S. has reached the point where we are no longer dependent 
and on foreign countries to supply our oil, our nation's leaders will have no more reason to station American troops in countries that are protecting uh, the resources that fuel things like ambulances. It's hard to imagine that the difference a solar panel could make, just considering that. It's hard to imagine that someone's parent or child could be alive because enough people committed in the future to switching to a power source that we can produce here in our homeland. Of course, solar panels won't prevent terrorism, and it certainly isn't the answer to end all wars, but it still makes an impact. Solar panels saving our environment doesn't just mean that our ozone layer gets healthy. It means that our ecosystems that we hunt, fish, hike, and camp in remain healthy too. It means that the same resource that would save us, the sun, doesn't pierce through our atmosphere. The second benefit of solar panels is that they are a safe investment. Solar panels are among one of the safest investments available in the market today. Safer than mutual funds, stocks, 401ks, or even hiding your money under a mattress, because even that can get stolen. Solar panels are safer than a savings account. They're safe because the investment is liquid, meaning that the value cannot rise one day, fall the next, or even become completely worthless. There's not an account of your hard-earned money jumping from company to company or bond to bond or from one stockbroker's hands to the next. There's not a heavy commission taken out every time your, your balance tries to make you a little bit of money. And best of all, it is especially safe from being taxed. Half the advantage of having solar panels is that you're not paying uh, taxes and you're not paying an electric bill. It's actually from the savings. Uh, and it never will be taxed because that would be like charging capital gains tax on vegetables that you grew in your garden. Speaking of vegetables, I've, I've read article after article and I've read testimonial after testimonial of farmers, American farmers, who have actually used solar panels to save their farm. One of the articles that I read was from a farmer from North Carolina named Dawson Singletary. And he, him and his family had been in the cotton and soybean farming business for generations. Uh, in the article, I've mentioned that cotton prices had fallen to an all-time low, and Dawson and his family were at risk of losing their family farm of 530 acres. The article went on to explain that his farm was actually saved by, uh, from a crop that he was harvesting that most people wouldn't expect. Dawson had a 7 megawatt uh, solar panel system on his land, and he said that, single, or that 7 megawatt system saved his farm. Harvesting the crops in the sun is only one reason that solar panels are a safe investment. How many of you remember 2008 when 8.8 .8 million people lost their jobs? <laughs> uh, one of the biggest benefits about solar panels is they're actually recession proof. The reason is because both the value and the returns are not affected by the highs and the lows of the economy. Uh, unlike other financial investments, if you invest $40,000 into a solar panel system, you are never at risk of losing that investment. About the only thing that it's not safe from is a natural disaster, like a tornado. And even that's uh, easily protected because you can get a simple insurance policy. But even considering the cost of insurance, the returns a solar panel system provides greatly outweigh the costs. Uh, one other aspect that attracts so many everyday people into investing in solar is that they have a higher return on investment. Uh, part of why the return for solar panels is so high is because of the extra benefits that a system provides. For example, some utilities provide extra rebates for overproduced electricity. What people with this opportunity do is they build a little bit bigger system than what they actually need to cover their electric bill. So the utilities will build, build a little bit bigger of a system so that the extra income will cover their uh, water and their sewer bill as well. And if they go even bigger yet, their uh, profits will actually be a cash flowing asset that puts money in their pocket month after month. I think the other thing that makes solar panels have a great return uh, is the tax opportunities. Right now, there is a whopping 30% federal tax credit. And what that means is the federal government helps with 30% of the total cost of the system. That's material, labor from installer, electrician, and uh, even the cost of hooking up to the utility. Uh, good Uncle Sam takes 30% right off the top. So solar is a great opportunity for Americans who are looking to retain their hard-earned money by having an incentive that makes taxes lower or even non-existent for a few years. Uncle Sam likes to help the hard-working American businessman too. A business, no matter if it's a working-from-home daycare or a Fortune 500 company,
they can actually be eligible for additional incentives, including writing off the entire value of the solar system over the next event for the first five years. Both businesses and residential solar panel owners don't have to pay unforeseen sales tax on it because solar panel systems are completely sales tax free. Uh, the incentives and rebates make that much cost lower, making the margin for return investment that much bigger. <coughs> the last reason that makes solar panels a safe and profitable investment is the available financing. Banks are lining up to give eligible, eligible borrowers uh, a loan for solar panel, solar panel systems. Actually, when I told this same message to my dad uh, a couple weeks ago, he actually looked into solar panels, and now he himself is actually going to be investing into solar panels to put on top of his insurance agency. So he actually went to Sock Center, that's where I'm from, and he got quotes from the three different banks around there. And now he has them competing for uh, the business of financing his solar system. Uh, he has it up, he's going to be getting zero down, and he's going to be paying like a crazy low interest rate. So he would actually mentioned to me last week that he wished that he had a bigger roof on his insurance agency because he's going to be making money on you know, an investment that he had to pay you know, nothing down for. Uh, Getting in on solar with these low, crazy low interest rates is just one of the reasons that people aren't delaying to invest in solar. By people investing now, the return can only go up with rising energy prices, and their loan payments remain at the same current low interest rate. The third benefit about solar panels is that they're reliable. Light from the sun is a renewable resource, which means it will never run out. Just a quick econ lesson here. Raise your hand if you would like the price of gasoline to go up, excluding gasoline uh, sales owners. No one? <laughs> so that's what I thought. Uh, this is a huge benefit for solar and owners because unlike other uh, resources for energy, like oil, which is what gasoline is made out of, when the price of electricity goes up, that's actually a good thing for solar panel owners. Uh, economically, uh, the supply of solar light is actually unlimited, you know, from the sun, which economically means that the supply will never be free. Uh, solar panels are reliable in every sense of the word, as long as one thing doesn't happen. The only way that a solar panel system would not work the way that it was designed to is if the sun itself were to go out. People can depend on their solar panels because the sun will always shine. Solar panels are reliable in another way because the price of electricity historically only goes up. As long as electricity has been invented, the price has never significantly gone down. The Energy Information Administration has projected a price increase in electricity approximately 2.5 to 4% a year. What that means is that for, solar, or for uh, people who have to pay their electric bill, in the next 18 years, their uh, electric bills will double. Uh, the rest of the price for electricity means tighter budgets for most. But for people who are smart enough to get into solar panels, the rising price is actually a good thing. Minnesota is one of the top five states to go solar in. Uh, with number one and two being Arizona and California, people think that you have to have a sunny state to, be, uh, to own a profitable solar panel system. Minnesota is one of the top five states because of something called our net metering law. The net metering law in Minnesota means that the local utility, by law, has to pay solar panel owners the retail price for any overproduced electricity. It's another way that solar panels are reliable. So with the net metering law, rising prices of electricity means rising profits for solar panel owners. I'll put it in some simple terms. Let's say that you own some solar panels, but the sun is shining, but you're not home. You and your family are out on vacation. So what happens to all that electricity that your panels are producing that your house is not using? Well, the electricity gets redirected back into the utility's grid so the utility company can sell it to another homeowner so that that electricity gets used. But the catch is, is the utility company has to pay you your retail price for your electricity. What that means is they give you their margin of profit and they have to sell your electricity for break-even costs. So if you become the utility company, you might be wondering why I'm doing all of this. Why am I dedicated uh, to committing myself to talking about solar and driving two hours to Detroit Lakes from Song Center? Last November, I was diagnosed with IgA nephropathy, or end-stage kidney disease. 
It started out one day when I was at work, and I started to get blurry vision. And I just kind of shook it off and you know, hoped that it wasn't a sign that I needed glasses. At about 2 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon, my vision got so bad that I couldn't even read my laptop, which was only a foot in front of me. So I ended up calling the hospital in town, and the nice lady on the phone said, oh, I think you should consider going to the ER, because it sounds like your brain is bleeding. So trying to, you know, hearing that on the phone, you're, you know, pretty calm, right? So I did what any 19-year-old uh, with a waiting brain would do, and I drove myself to the ER. <laughs> I can still see shapes and colors, so. Um, long story short, uh, I ended up going to an ambulance to St. Cloud Hospital, and I stayed in the intensive care unit for six days. I went through internal bleeding, I went through a kidney biopsy, um, like all kinds of tests, and I eventually had surgery to install a catheter in my chest that connects to my heart so that I can start dialysis. I now get my life saved three times a week thanks to modern science. Dialysis was invented in 1943, so if I was born just 74 years ago, that's hard to imagine that, you know, history of the world, just 74 years ago, I would have been dead. Um, me standing here is just one example of how modern technology can change the way that we live, or in my case, live it all. I stayed hooked up to dialysis machine from 6.40 in the morning to 11 o'clock in the forenoon. I feel so grateful to be alive, and I've had it in my heart for somehow to get back. I have been sharing an office with my cousin previous to my diagnosis, and she and her husband have made a living remanufacturing wind turbines. Through my cousins, I was deeply submerged in the education of all kinds of renewable energy. Uh, I was actually working on a startup of mine, because you know, I've heard about all my entrepreneurial endeavors. I was working on a shovel manufacturing company, because when I was in high school, I had the property maintenance. I developed a shovel that was unbreakable because I was sick of spending $100 a week you know, on shovels because my guys were breaking them. So uh, through, the learning of, through the learning process that I got through my cousins, I learned about all kinds of energy and I considered talking about wind energy. Um, I considered it, but my mind still kept leaning towards solar panels. Uh, solar panels are much more affordable than turbines, but and you can also go as small as powering a keychain with a solar panel. But wind turbines only get so small, and the need for investment is larger, limiting who I can talk to about it. And when you compare them, solar panels don't have big moving parts, and make noise and break down like wind turbines do. I started investigating solar panels, how they work, how much they cost, what they produce, and how they affect our environment. The more I researched, the more I knew that this is a technology worth spreading the word about. That is why I'm here today. Spending my time to tell you about the benefits of solar panels is my fruit of my desire to spread a good idea. Now that you know the top three benefits of solar panels, how they help the environment, how they're a great investment, and how they're the most reliable renewable resource, I ask you to help me spread the word. If you know someone that would appreciate the knowledge that we learned here today, sit down with them and have a talk. Solar panels are the future. Someday, they will be the number one source of energy. They'll power our cars, our snowmobiles, our homes, and even our coffee pots. According to the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions, right now, America is only using 1% of its total energy consumption on, or on solar panels, and then an additional 12% on all other renewables combined, which means that 87% of our uh, consumption of electricity is being used by fossil fuels. With inflation making the American dollar less valuable, the price of a solar system might be more expensive in the future. Between that and the benefits of solar, that is why you see the number of solar panel installations growing at all-time speed. There's never been a better time to get into solar panels, so I started looking into panels, and I decided to help people go solar even more by convincing my cousins who are in the winter uh, industry to expand their business into the solar panels. They have actually installed over 80 renewable energy products since 2009, and they have a great reputation around the Midwest, and they're one of the longest standing companies because of their honesty. Uh, if you look at the history of you know, wind turbine companies, a lot of them went bankrupt because they sold a bunch of turbines and then decided to ditch town. So the reason that they've been along, which is sad, 2009 doesn't seem that long, but it's a 
<laughs> that's a long time in that industry is because they have such a reputation for sitting down with people and telling them, sorry, you know, we don't have enough wind on your property or you don't have this incentives are there. So they have a really good uh, reputation. So um, we, they have straight talk with you because not everyone has right for solar panels. So thank you for allowing me to speak here today. And if you have any questions about solar panels, you can come see me afterwards and uh, my friend Chuck and I will take the back table and you know we can exchange some information and I can uh, maybe refer you to my cousin. So thank you for allowing me to speak here today. Thank you.